you each come at this from a different, a different uh, discipline. So I'd like to start by asking how each of you would define resilience. And if you have to define it briefly by uh, what the lack of resilience might be, that might also help as well. George? I des define resilience as an outcome. So we have to have an aversive event, and then after that event, people respond. A resilient outcome is a stable pattern, a stable trajectory of healthy adjustment, functioning normally, as if the event, essentially, as if the event didn't happen. As if it didn't happen. We get back to some kind of normalcy. We might have a brief interruption, but otherwise, a stable trajectory of healthy functioning. All right, Fran? Do you have this, a, a this is really a great transition here because I would say it's not an outcome, it's a process, and it's not about stability, it's about adaptability. And in fact, there are some circumstances where uh, remaining stable may in fact be the worst thing for resilience. Dennis. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we came to study resilience from a medical point of view, and it started by trying to understand why people who were infected with the HIV virus some developed AIDS, in fact, most, but some did not. Mm -hmm. they, they were resilient from a biologic point of view. So then we began to look at individuals who faced trauma in their lives, serious forms of trauma. And we began to define resilience from the perspective that some people who were seriously traumatized did not develop depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. So that was one definition. A, from a, a medical negative definition. You don't have certain bad outcomes. Don't have some bad outcomes. And another definition that we've been using is that some people do develop depression, post-traumatic stress disorder from trauma, but are able to recover. They are able to bounce back. I would speak of a, a way of being that comes with a cluster of qualities, for instance, inner strength, uh, inner freedom, um, inner peace, that give you the inner resources to deal with the ups and downs of life. That means you are neither indifferent or insensitive, but you are much less vulnerable and so you know that you can face the ups and downs. You have this kind of confidence. So this kind of micro resilience after a sharp pain or something that's terrible that might happen, and your recovery time might be much faster. And there's on the larger scale, you know about the bigger events of life that you can keep your bearing like a cat always falls back on, it, on its leg. 